right, welcome on board. My name is Mesh Msimbe. To begin our bulletin, we start with the story from the corridors of power. It is Nyanza to the rescue yet again, or is it? In what sounds like a rerun of Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga handshake script, President William Ruto on Thursday and for the next two days, the celebrated guest in the opposition bastion of Nyanza, where his newfound alliance with Odinga is taking the political equivalent of a developing, developing insurance cover. And as Bushebi Jr. reports, President Ruto, like his predecessor, President Kenyatta, is having to turn to his one-time political foe, Raila Odinga. Dinga for short term and for the long term. Have a look. <laughs> a gift of a humongous fish, popularly known as Mbuta in Homer Bay County. Aya. Cow, 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 cow. Your Excellency. And a heroic welcome is a clear indication that President William Ruto and former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga have crafted a political highway that may run until 2032 if nothing changes in the near future. <laughs> Ruto, while on a walking tour of the country in Homer Bay Town, vowed to strengthen his ties with Raila Odinga, noting it is in the best interest of the country. Speaking in Homer Bay, when he commissioned the Oyugi's water project, Ruto explained that Raila's decision to support him deliver on his mandate is rooted in their past political relations. He told the residents that he once played a vital role in backing him in his political ambition. Nini munajua, mimi na baba tumetoa mbali. Sisi tumuko na historia ya kwenda mbali. Nikweli ya masikweli. Mimi nauliza nini. Si mimi wakati mmoja nilimsaidia baba. Yeye hakinisaidia safari hii kwa makosa jameni. Iko makosa. Ndiyo baba amenipatia uyu John Mbadi Ngongo Na nimemfanya Nimemfanya awe waziri wa pesa Wa kwanza Tangu Kenya iundwe Mutu kutoka nyanza Awe waziri wa pesa Uyu mjamaa ameweka historia Watu hapa Homa Bay Lakini sasa mimi nimesikia ati nyinyi mmeanza kuringa ati pesa ya Kenya inalala Homa Bay. <laughs> eh? <laughs> ati ni ukweli. Ni ukweli. Ni ukweli. Sasa huyu mtu atakuwa anabeba cheki ya Kenya analeta hapa Homa Bay. <laughs> so watu wa Homa Bay Vile vile ule ndugu yangu mheshimiwa James Opio Wandai sasa ni waziri wa energy ndiye atasimamia maneno ya mafuta ndiye atasimamia maneno ya sitima <clears throat> Ruto was among the key leaders who supported Raila in his presidential candidature in the 2007 general election however in 2022 Raila was floored by Ruto in the presidential polls leading to the former heading to Supreme Court that upheld Ruto's win. Raila then went straight to the streets to protest against President Ruto's win. The protests in 2023 led to a truce between the two in a meeting chaired by former Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo and later Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni. In the midst of Gen Z's protests, Raila and Ruto formalized their handshake with Odinga's top men joining government and President Ruto cementing his support for Raila's AU bid. Underscoring the importance of the new-found relations, 
Ruto said they have wholly agreed to support him in his quest for the African Union Commission chairmanship seat. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba Raila Amolo Odinga atakuwa kiongozi kwa mapenzi ya Mungu wa Afrika mzima. Sisi wote tumekubaliana. Wa Kenya wamekubaliana. Serikali ya Kenya mimi naongoza tumesema baba ndiye atakuwa kiongozi wa bara letu la Afrika tutamshika mkono tutamuombea tutamfanyia campaign na bara letu la Afrika wamekubali muliona juzi jumuiya ya East Africa wote wamekuja hapa Museveni amekuja kutoka Uganda Mama Suluhu kutoka Tanzania Salva Kiri kutoka Sudan watu wa DRC Congo watu wa kutoka kule Burundi Rais wa kule eh, Rwanda, ule Somalia, sisi wote tumekubali ya kwamba mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga aka Baba akue ndio kiongozi wetu kwa bara la Afrika. Ruto officially launched Raila's bid on Tuesday at State House in Nairobi in an event attended by President Samia Suluhu of Tanzania. Uganda's Yoweri Museveni and Salva Kiir of South Sudan. He also unveiled the secretariat that will spearhead the campaigns. It typically begins with a handshake that evolves into a third party political insurance before graduating into a full comprehensive political cover. When some still pictures emerged from the cattle farm of Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni early this year, Many Kenyans wiped their eyes in disbelief but this uniquely Kenyan ritual was not a drill and together President Ruto and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga introduced a new episode of Kenya's strange bed fellows taking it up from where President Uhuru Kenyatta left it Like President Kenyatta before him, President Ruto's political tribulations included an easy relationship with an increasingly emboldened and defiant deputy president who like Deputy President Ruto before him was eager to cultivate his own political base and with the Mount Kenya region growing restless and Deputy President Rigathi Gachagua harvesting the resentment, President Ruto quickly switched to the tried and tested path of the Raila third party insurance atuko kumwele na rutu atitue na serikali msetu atuna msetu we don't have a coalition government alikuwa nataka watu nikamwambia watu chukua hao watu kama unataka akusaidie i john badingongo being appointed a cabinet secretary of kenya fearlessly Vehemently, Odinga denied striking deals with Ruto, but his actions and those of President Ruto spoke louder than words. When the broad-based cabinet was named, four slots went to the top leaders of Raila Odinga's ODM party in what looked like a move to redraw the regional map. In came Ali Hassan Joho, a coastal political titan, now paired with Salim Vuria to seal the coastal belt. In Western Kenya, grassroots mobilizer Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya was picked as a reinsurance cover to plug the gaps left by Musalia Mudavadi and Moses Wetangula. In Nyanza, President Ruto gave plum cabinet slots to Odinga's closest allies from Homa Bay and Siaya with that the much denied sweeter deal popularly known as a handshake was sealed as a political insurance by wooing the opposition strongholds of Nyanza Western and the coast President Ruto is fanatically searching for a political insurance cover in the wake of fast moving currents occasioned by largely 
the restlessness within the very base that saw him elected president just under two years ago. But just how much cover can the political insurance provide? And for how long? For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Ambushabi Jr.